Let's practice our shuffles. It's always a good idea to stand at a bar or a countertop, put one hand on it, making sure you're stacked properly. Remember, shoulders over hips, over knees, over ankles, with the foot that you're going to be using nice and relaxed and released so that it's ready. Make sure the supporting leg is not locked. It can be straight, but make sure you're not pressing that knee back. You want that knee joint to be nice and relaxed. Let's begin with some swinging shuffles. What we'll do today is we're going to do a series of our swinging shuffles, a one, a two, a three, a four, etc. And on the last set, I'm going to turn around with three steps to repeat the exercise on the left. I'm going to start slow, do a couple of series of these nice slow tempo, and then we'll pick up the, t pick up the pace. Here we go. Again, you're nice and relaxed and ready. We're going to swing. There you go. All right. Now let's try them a little bit faster. That was fast. All right, now let's go to a second exercise, a different rhythm. One and a two, three and a four, five and a six, a seven, a eight. One and a two, three and a four, five and a six, a seven, a eight. Again, make sure you're nice and relaxed. That one and a two is going to be two shuffles. Great. Now let's go on to a third idea on our new shuffle ideas for level two. We're going to put the hop before the shuffle. In level one, we looked at what we called an Irish with a shuffle, hop step, shuffle, hop step. Now we're going to put the hop in front of the shuffle. We need to know how to do this so that we can look at our time steps later on. Let's look at this together. I'm going to face away from the bar. And I'm going to do one and a two. And I'm just going to touch it for now, all right? So we can practice doing the same thing on one foot. Again, the rhythm is one and a two. Try it again. One and a two. Release. Release. And I could step onto that foot. Let's try the other side. Let's try right side, going to left side, transferring our weight on that step after the shuffle. Now let's replace that hop with a heel because again, as I've said before, I want you to be very careful about your joints, not to hurt your knees or ankles or hips so we can re easily replace that hop with a heel drop. There you go. Great. Keep practicing those shots.